My name is Samir Mohammed, and in this video, I'm going to show you the power behind Power Apps and AI text recognition. I'll show you the different AI controls available in Power Apps, and then I will develop a Power Apps application using the AI text recognition. I'll then demo uh, two different documents and show you how Power Apps can now read through two, two completely scanned documents which have completely different formats. I was surprised to my, see myself Power Apps read through all of that text. Finally, if you like my video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hi, so let's go ahead and open up this Power App that I have developed and take a look at how Power Apps and AI text recognition works. So up in the top, you can actually see as soon as you go there, you're going to see AI Builder up in the top. And so from here, you can actually see that there are a whole bunch of AI controls that Microsoft has already provided for you and, and seems like there's going to be coming more. This has just recently come out. And there's and using this, what you can do is you can go ahead and just use these controls. So the power of of the AI platform that Microsoft is providing is basically uh, you know is basically part of all these controls over here. So I'm gonna get started with text recognizer here and it's a pretty basic control. For some of these other controls you have to go ahead and build models but for text recognizer you don't have to do that. So what I did is that I pretty much just dropped these control the text recognizer control right over here and you can actually see this is the text recognizer control. And so let's go ahead and see how that basically works. So this my I'm going to go ahead and add a new control over here. I'm sorry, a new image over here, which is AQL, do it once, do it right. And look at that. It just got it. As soon as I did it, it basically just got the image right, right over here. And if I hover right on the image, then it even shows me what is the text of the of that part of the image do it once do it right and then i use this text control down at the bottom to basically go ahead and show the text that it has extracted aql do it once do it right pretty good i'm going to go ahead and add other a little more complex which is basically a letter from sherlock holmes and this is a letter from sherlock holmes right here okay it takes a little bit of time and this is handwritten so it's one of the just this older you know styles and you know what I was pretty really surprised was that it was able to the text recognizer was able to understand like 99% of the text I was thinking that there would be a lot of typos over here but by far the only typo that I found when I basically went through this whole thing and and as I hover I can see you know pieces of the text being shown over here which is nice and good and so the only text that I found to be a type over here was down at the bottom somewhere over here which is this text right here which says and weight amount of Hebrews can be accomplished and when I tried looking this up so this was basically and vast amount of and right here vast amount it's kind of like a little uh, now they're clear so this is and vast amount so the AI basically got this as n weight amounts. So other than that, I think that if this can actually get something as complex as this, then I think this can this is pretty rock solid and can be used for anything that you really need. So let's go back and take a look at the source code. So this is, as I said, the AI text recognizer control in itself. And the only thing that I have done is I have written down on change event a basic text which is from the text recognizer get the results and convert it over to text and then just put it in this variable and this variable is basically binded to this text box over here so if I select this text box down at the bottom over here which is an HTML control then uh, I'm sorry so which is basically an HTML text control and then on the HTML HTML text property over here all I do is that, you know, it basically converts that into HTML and it's got BR lines within it, uh, which are line breaks in HTML. So I'm just uh, pretty much just removing that and then just showing the whole text over here. And with just this something as basic as this, I can actually get AI text processing up and running within Power Apps. Thank you so much for attending my session.